Okay. All right. So this is basically your, uh, your original work, uh, which I think is good. All right. Can you see the screen right now? Oh yeah, yeah. Okay, which is very good, and because you have your ideas, and I know that these are uh, basically uh, original work and very good, and the content is good. And the ideas are good, and uh, I have already made some amendment and uh, adjustment, uh, in terms of the wording, the word choice, and some set grammatical sentence structure. There are some errors here, so I have made uh, some amendment here. So this is the work that I have uh, helped you out uh, to improve your writing. So uh, okay, so in terms of your essay, right? Uh, I have given you the mark, this one. This is the mark here. In terms of your content, your target audience on the whole inform, uh, which I've given you four marks. Communicating achievement, produce a text that communicates straightforward ideas. Yes, uh, you have achieved that, which is good. Organization, you use simple connectors and a limited number of cohesive devices appropriately. Uh, you have, uh, you deserve three here. Language, you use basic vocab appropriately. You use a simple grammatical forms with a good degree of control, which is good. And you have also uh, trying to attempt to use complex phrases or vocab, but not always successful. And impede meaning, grammatical errors. Impede meaning means uh, it affect the understanding because the reader had to read a few times trying to understand, but uh, did not come up to that level. Grammatical errors, there are some uh, subject, word, subject word disagreement there. All right, so... Basically, uh, this is the mark that I've given you. Okay. All right. So you have any question on this one? So if no, we go directly into your essay. Is that okay? Okay, okay. All right. So actually, good try. You know, you are at the middle level, but uh, you can still, uh, there are still a lot of rooms to improve for improvement. So let's look at uh, the first here. Let's look at the question first. So can you help read the question again? Your class has been... The class has been discussing teenagers and social networking site. And your teachers has asked you to write an essay about a social networking site that you use. In your essay, you should write which, so which social networking site that you normally engage with, reasons of your choice, what are its advantages. Mm -hmm. Write your essay using all the notes and giving reasons for your point of view. All right, so you normally engage with, that means you normally use that sites uh, for corresponding. So, and basically these three, uh, these, you are, we are con these three are actually giving us a directions how we can construct our essay. Uh, basically the content will be three, three basic main, main paragraphs. These are the three main paragraphs that we should write about and adding the introduction and the last uh, conclusion. So all together, there will be about five paragraphs all together. Normally, each point, we have one paragraph to write on or you can divide into two. It doesn't matter as long as you cover these, these uh, directions. All right, so let's look at the first uh, part. Your original work will be uh, so I have already made changes for you. Okay, so let's look at your original one. Okay, social network is a two-edged sword with which, which in other words means that there are advantages and disadvantages with the use of social network. So let's look at this uh, sentence by sentence. Look at here. It's a two-edged sword. So two-edged, uh, this is a what? And I have already marked here. 2H is an adjective, so you have to add an, a D there. It's an adjective. So because you need to describe the SWOT, right? 2H SWOT, so it has to be in D, adjective, SWOT. So 2H SWOT is actually an idiomatic expression about that social network. What does that mean? Because it contains advantages and disadvantages. All right, so you say, that's why you use 2H SWOT, which is very good. I love these words. And I, okay, so I will help you to add on um, at the beginning because uh, instead of directly dive into the essay to mention about advantages and disadvantages, we can actually give a general uh, general description about social networking. All right, can you help me to read this one first? 
social networking sites like Twitter, Facebook, LinkedIn. Ah, yes. To name, to name a few, portraits a larger than life attitude and prove beneficial in all walks of life. Be it for a student, a professor, a retired personnel as well. Okay, this could be a very lengthy one. So maybe I can simplify it to name a few portray portray. Uh, maybe to name a few. Probably because there are several things that you probably may not be able to understand several things. So I do not want to confuse you. Are benefit to name a few are beneficial. Ah, uh, you can say prove to be. You can write prove to be. Because the reason why I use this plural word form, proof in plural word form, is because social sites, more than one social sites, more than one, proof to prove beneficial in all walks of life. That means whether all walks of life mean, meaning in different sphere of life, different people in different sphere, for example, like students, professional, uh, retired personnel, or different different age group, meaning. Okay, or was even housewife. Okay. All right. So you can write this down first. You write this uh this sentence. Oh, this is later you can send me this PDF file because my computer is I turning the zoom and the uh -huh. uh, is doing in the another page. Oh, oh really? So uh so Yes, I will send this to you. So, can you, are you able to see the words? Are you able to write down the words? Can, can. Can, uh? So, I will send this to you. Have you heard about this linked? Linked in? No. <laughs> okay, this one, I have an account there. But basically, these are the professional, those companies, they look for people, for to employ people to for their work, right? So usually people will put their resume over there and their personal uh, information, bio data there. So company, they can search for linked to for people to be hired for their company. So you, usually those big companies, they look for people at linked in this social website. Twitter, I hardly use. Facebook, yes. And because I think Facebook is enough for me, Linker Instagram also. Of course, you can write Instagram. If you are not sure about Linker, you can write Instagram. Okay. To name a few proof beneficial in all walks of life, be it for a student, a professional, a retired personnel as well. Retired personnel means a person who has retired from their work. Just a two issue the All right. Personnel means individual. Two issue the Personnel. Okay. Retired personnel. Okay, are you ready? The next one? Yes, yes. Okay, so, and I, in order to connect to join your next phrase, right? Next sentence, so I use however, because we know that uh, they are all very beneficial, right? So I give a general statement about social networking website. Then, because your statement is referring to, it has advantages and both advantages and disadvantages. So I use however. However means, uh, however, it means, it is a two H or we call it double H sword. Two H means double H. They have there are as there are advantages and disadvantages with the use of social network. There are there are advantages and disadvantages. You have to use another S R disadvantages with the use of social network. Um, the reason why I cross out which in other words means that you um we don't use this one because it sounds uh unnatural. Uh, not a like a native speaker, so we don't use this one. Which, in other words, um, you don't have to because we will be expressing what two H swap means at the second sentence here. Okay, 
it will be su suffice enough to go now. So I use here, I explain what does that mean? Two is swap, what does that mean? So I add on with another, another sentence to describe what I mean about this double H swap. Okay. All right. So normally, if you say, if you want to keep which, in other words, you cannot use in other words because it's basically it's wrong. In other words, it's wrong. So you can say which means, but it also doesn't sound right, huh? Okay, so I just cross out everything here. Okay, are you ready? Oh, yes. Okay, so let's follow the this second sentence. Can you read this one? Although people believe that social networking sites are harmful, they are also beneficial. It all depends on how the user uses it. Uses it. Okay, uses if you it. if you come across with S, right, make sure you sound the S sound. Okay, although people believe that social networking sites okay, are harmful, they are beneficial. So you understand the meaning, right? So it depends, it all depends on just so can the user, user means the people who use that site, how the user uses it. Because users, I use a singular noun here, that's why I use S, I put S here. I put an S here. And the reason why I cross out the following sentence is because it impedes meaning. Impedes means uh, to I uh, bear the understanding. It, it doesn't help us to understand the sentence. It affect our understanding toward the, the sentence. Okay, let's say it says, however, it basically comes down to the user as the choice of doing good. Uh, I read a few times. If a reader have to read a few times and do not understand what it means, right? So that means this part will affect to the deductions of marks. It result in deduction of marks because it impedes meaning. So you try to avoid sentences that, that impede meanings. Just you know, the sentence. We have we need to make clear. So it's not clear. What does it mean by come down to the user as the choice of doing good? What does that mean? Uh, so I think basically I think this is a Chinese way of thinking like uh um you want to make sure that you do you use it you use the social networking site correctly right ah uh, so instead of using this uh the word choice because it, it has to do with your it has to do with your the the word choice the phrases you use okay it, it doesn't sound natural so we i have to change it you can say you can actually say that uh uh it depends on how they use it, okay? How they use it, whether they use it for good or use it for evil intention. Make it clearer, okay? All right. Okay, you have any questions until this point? No. Okay, are you done with this one? Yeah, um, okay, yeah. Uh, I haven't knocked down yet. I only knocked down. Okay, all right. Impede means uh, affect our understanding. Impede means affect, 影响. Uh, 影响 our understanding. All right, can I move on to here? Can, can. Can, uh, so can you continue this one? Uh, until here. The social networking site that I normally engage with is Facebook. It is gaining popularity by the 
minutes, especially among years, young, use, young use, youth, use. among youth, including myself. Okay, good. And, uh, until here, until here. All right, so here, uh, I cross out Facebook because uh, in front, we already mentioned Facebook. So the second part, we don't use Facebook. You have to use a pro a pronouns, pronouns it. Because we need to know how to use pronoun instead of keeping using Facebook all the way. So that's why I have to cross it out. Uh, and also, we don't use inverted comma. Okay, inverted comma, we don't use. We don't use this one. No need. Okay. Yeah, because Facebook is not a, a something, a cliche or a name that people use. So I we just cross out because people understand what uh, Facebook is. So I just cross out this inverted comma. So you have to answer the questions. The second question say, uh, which social networking site that you normally use? So I have to answer this question. This one. Because introduction, I already uh, mentioned, this is the introductions. So in an essay, you must have introduction. Introduction, you already covered. So direct. So we go to the second, second paragraph. Second paragraph is answering these questions. So I answer this question by writing it here, okay? And then I love the words choice you use, gaining popularity, which is very good. All right. So use this. This one uh, is actually giving you marks. Huh? Okay. Let me highlight it. Gaining popularity. By the minutes also, by the minutes, it actually increased in amount. Very good word choice by the minutes. Good word choice. Huh? Increase in terms of the amount among use and I have to include including myself instead of saying including me. Grammatically speaking is wrong. So we have to use including myself. All right, so it cross out this one. And also you use another word enthusiast, which is very good. You use this word also uh, give you marks, enthusiast. All right, I'm also a Facebook enthusiast. Instead of saying I'm also a uh, enthusiast because enthusiast start out with E so you're supposed to write I, I'm also an enthusiast in Facebook if you want to put enthusiast in front you have to use an enthusiast in Facebook but now if you don't want to uh, put in or don't want to change a uh, then I put Facebook in front enthusiast I put at the back it also makes sense a uh, Facebook enthusiast all right do you understand what I, what I mean Yes, yes. Okay, yeah. Because you, you put usually are you I and also a uh, uh is wrong already, yeah. Uh. So I change it, move to the back of uh, Facebook. You uh you said use enthusiast user. I just use one and usually engage with it. I am usually because if you use and this sentence grammatically speaking, just put it out. Uh. Okay, let me write it down here. Have you done with this one? So let me try here. Mm. Yes. Okay. Why is Why it is considered incorrect? Okay. So let's say, 我把它拆开来啊, I am also uh, enthusiast. Okay, let's change it. I'm also uh, an Enthusiast. Enthusiast in Facebook. 这样子就, 这个就对了. And then you use and usually engage with it. 这个后面句子就有问题, because this and right is referring, is actually using the same, using the same tense. That means 拆开的句子就是, I am usually engage. With it. And I am also an enthusiast in Facebook. Okay, this sentence they divide into two parts. So instead of using I am, I am all the time. So normally we refer, we remove I am and then you put N usually. But because the sentence I am usually engaged it is wrong. 
grammatically speaking is wrong. Okay, I am usually engaged. Because you have am, you have engaged. You cannot say I am usually. It's just like I am usually agree. 好像 agree 这样子也是错的. So instead of using I am, you can say I usually. The correct ways of writing is I usually I com I normally I normally or I usually engage in mm, engage ya. Okay. So let me see. Hang on just a moment. Okay. Okay, right, Lausu to gain her Okay, like this one. I usually engage with just do it. So I am also an interest in Facebook and now how now you and the one judge and I usually engage with it because you cannot remove I here. If you remove I, that means you have to use it means it means to us I am usually engaged with it. So instead of if you want to use and you have to include I here because do you understand what I mean? Okay. Okay. The correct way of, if let's say I follow your sentence, right? I follow your idea. I have to write it this way. I'm also an enthusiast, okay, in Facebook. And I usually engage with it. I need to use I here. The reason is because this sentence, the previous sentence doesn't work together with engage. So that's why I have to include I here. That's what it means. So that's why I remove everything here. I rephrase it. Uh. It's not basically, it's not, it's not all wrong. It's just that the sentence doesn't sound natural. Okay. Any questions for this part? No. No, uh, do you understand? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh. All right. So I remove this one. Meet next. And here, combine with the next paragraph. So that's why I put it up here. Okay, so it brings a lot of benefits. Okay, it says a lot of upsides. Uh, upsides means alongside. This is the uh, problem of word choice. Uh, upside, the meaning of upside means uh, alongside. That means you come along with, okay? We have downside. Downside means uh, the disadvantages, but we do not have upside. Okay, so we, we do not uh, you know think uh, it is uh, since we have downside, then there might as well we need to have upside because English is is quite different. You know, it doesn't work uh, parallel. It doesn't work parallel that way. Yeah, downside. Then you have upside. Yes, we have upside, but the meaning is different. Okay, the meaning means alongside. So it doesn't it doesn't make sense here. So Facebook has a Facebook a lot of upsides. Uh, what does that mean? Hmm, it doesn't mean anything. So I have to change instead of using upside, why don't we use benefits? Okay, so because this one will result in deduction of marks, all right? And convenience, not convenience. Convenient is an adjective because it, it has a lot of okay, like this. Facebook has a lot of many has a lot of uh, uh benefits. Uh, a lot of benefits and a lot of benefits, and it is convenient. 就可以你要加前面, you have to use it is convenient because adjective. Convenient is adjective. Okay, it's an adjective. So here I have to change it to, and uh, it has a lot of convenience, but it doesn't sound natural uh, for English speaking people. They don't feel like, hey, you can, because I cannot use convenient here, I have to use convenience, but it doesn't sound natural. So why don't I just, uh, and it is convenient. So I have to change it. Wait, uh, I need to make changes.
instead of using convenience, because convenience here is grammatically correct, but I cannot use this one either. So I have to make it change the whole sentence. And it is convenient. Uh, and it brings, it brings a lot, uh, it is convenient in my life. Okay, in my, it is convenient to everyone. It is convenient to, it is convenient to, it is convenient to me. And it is convenient in you, for me to use it, for me, for me to use it. Okay, then it sounds more natural. It is convenient for me to use it instead of it is convenient in my life. Mm. In Chinese, yes, it, it makes sense. But in English, it doesn't make sense. Okay, it is convenient for me to use it. All right, until this point, uh, can you write down first? If you finish, you say done, okay? Uh, okay. Okay. One of the reason, if you say one of the reason without S, right, is considered wrong. We can't, we can't, we can't use this. Uh, it cannot say one of the reason. Who? Oh, you only have one reason. Why you say one of the reason? Why don't you just say one reason? Since you want, if you want to put one here, why don't you put S here? One of the reasons. Okay. That I, that I choose, I chosen is incorrect. That I choose. Yeah, let me erase it. That I choose. You cannot say I chosen. Chosen is a past participle. Chosen usually comes after a helping word. A helping word. I have chosen. Okay, I had chosen. Okay, or it was chosen. Or it is. She is chosen. So it comes with helping words. Have, had, was, is. Do you understand? You must have a helping word in front of the past participle. So uh, this one is considered wrong. Okay. So I have to change it to, I choose, you cannot use past tense because you are still using it. I choose, instead of this one, I choose. Okay. I choose Facebook is because, it's because I can, you have to use I here because it must, after because you must have a full sentence, you must have a subject. You cannot say it's because communicate with my friend, family and friends instantly. I can communicate with my family and friends instantly. You cannot say because is easy and instant communication with others because your original is like this. Your original is this. Uh, I choose Facebook is easy and instant. So where is one of the reasons that I choose that I chosen Facebook is easy. So what is your subject? Either subject put in now. That means your, this, your sentence is dangling sentence. Your sentence is hanging the, Okay. You have to change it is because, is because, because you are given reason, because it is easy. And it is easy to use. And I can communicate with others instantly. Ah, like this. Then it makes sense. Do you understand what I mean? Okay. Okay, so this is supposed to be the correct way of writing. And that I choose. This one, you have to make changes that I choose, Facebook. Okay, so let's move back here. Okay, until here, 
So you can write down one of the reasons that I choose Facebook is because I can communicate with my family and friends instantly. Mm. I combine these two ideas because you say uh, communicate with friends and also instantly like, I put it together and it is easy uh, It makes communication with others easier. And it is it is easy to use. Uh, it is easy to use. It is easy to use. Okay. Make it simply. I simplify it is easy to use. And it is easy to use. Okay, done. Okay, then you continue here. Other than that, Facebook is than, only, uh, this one. Can you read this one? Other than that, Facebook is also an incredible post that enables me to connect to people worldwide. Okay, incredible, incredible means amazing. Just amazing. Incredible, it means amazing. Two, two mil s ah, two is a a a tool, Okay, that enables me, enables enables me, enables me, to connect to people worldwide. Worldwide means 世界各地的人, 世界各地, 世界各地. Okay, 世界各地的人. I love your ideas. Excellent. You have all the excellent ideas. Just that the sentence structure and also uh, grammatical structure, uh, you have to make it sound more natural and sound more native instead of sound. Uh, it, it doesn't sound native. Okay. Okay, done. Okay, done. Huh? All right. So, it, because you say, can lead me connect to other people all over the world. It can lead me. Um, Facebook can lead me. It can lead me. Instead of using lead me, lead me means lead me. But Facebook will lead me. So, this is also has to do with word choice. So, lead is incorrectly used. So, instead of using lead, why don't we use enables? Incorrectly used. So, instead of using lead, why don't we use enables? In she work. In she work. Good choice, huh? Okay. To connect to people worldwide. Worldwide is an is an adverb. Has it got adverb right? Sujekati. So in terms of sentence structure, the teacher will see whether you know how to use adverb adjective correctly and also the sentence structure. Okay. And then I had made a lot of cyber friends. Instead of uh, using head. We use had because had this had right. It means long time ago. Only long time and already stopped. If you use H A D had, it means that the action that have been done in the past and has already stopped. Okay, but still today you are still you are still using it and connect to people who are in other parts of the world, right? So instead of using have, H A D, we have to use H A V E, have. And after have, you have to change the verb make into past participle. M A K E is the present form. So we cannot use M A K E, we have to use M A D E, your young past participle. After has, have, had, you have to use past participle. Uh, this is very, very important. Do not take note of because this is also has to do with the tenses. Uh, then students do not understand how to use the tense. It also results in the deduction of the language mark. That language mark have been coven. Okay. We have made a lot of cyber friends, which is good. I love the word choice you use, cyber friends. Okay, Hen Hao, very good. From other countries such as Taiwan, Singapore, and Thailand. Good job. Okay. All right, you can write it down. Yes, I've done. Okay, all right. So can you continue on here? I learned about their culture and customs through in 
interacting with them. Their opinions and sharing are valuable. Okay, until here. All right, I learned about learn. You have two ways of writing. You either you can use T or ED for past tense. I learned about because uh, through interacting with them, you in the past you learn about their culture and custom. Culture is Wenhua. Wenhua. Culture means Wenhua. And custom is Si Su. Si Su. Okay. Their culture. Custom means their, their practice. For example, the way how they dress themselves up, the way they talk, the way they eat, the way they speak. So it's called custom. All right. Through interacting. Interacting means 跟他们沟通之间的交流. Interacting means 交流 with them. And they, their opinions and sharing are valuable. 他们的意见和分享非常的宝贵. Valuable means 宝贵. So is uh why the reason why I cross out they are as good as go. As good as go is an idiom. It means they are well behaved. Their first meaning is well behaved. Second meaning is in good condition or in state. In the state of in a good condition. All right. So it doesn't make sense. 他们, 他们的行为很好, 或者是他们的身体, 他们, 他们的状况很极棒, it doesn't make sense. So you are actually you are trying to say that 他们的分享意见是很好像紧这样子很宝贵,对不对? Uh, so instead of using as good as gold, as good as gold, who's the easy, the meaning of it is it doesn't mean valuable, no. It means well behaved. 是他们的行为很好，没有坏的行为，他们很，他们的呃，他们的状况是很棒的。So it doesn't make sense in that sentence. So this is also the wrong choice, wrong word choice, uh, wrong idiom. He use it incorrectly. Okay. So instead of using that, why don't we just use valuable? Okay, 用宝贵的就好了。Okay. Okay. Because you try to use idioms, but the idioms is used incorrectly because you do not understand the meaning of it. Okay, the real meaning. Because if idiom, uh, it is important to take note that if idiom you use incorrectly in sentence, right? Um, the sentence, uh, the meaning will be twisted. It impedes the meaning. Also, it results in more deduction of marks. If you know how to use it, you use it. If you do not 